ship independent. You may proceed. Hey guys, this is Camilio. Welcome to the Retro Gaming Junction. We are continuing our game of... What am I playing now? X-Wing! <laughs> X-Wing, the B-Wing expansion. Yes. So this is a two mission thing, I, I haven't touched any of them, I don't know what's going on, I haven't played in a while, so... Yeah. Okay. The entire base and all of its corvettes must be destroyed. <laughs> B-Wing Red is to attack and destroy oh, Okay, what about this? The Phoenix System Patrol Squadron base is to be completely destroyed. <laughs> all Assassin Class corvettes must be eliminated. You may expect interference from gunboats and a few TIE bombers. And a few tie bombers. Okay. There will also be a small minefield to contend with. But that means Two missiles. Squadron will carry out this attack. Yeah, that means a lot of missiles. One X-wing from Blue Squadron will provide escort for the B-wings. The Phoenix System Patrol B-wing Red is to attack and destroy this Imperial Corvette base. Okay. The base is protected by a minefield and a small number of ties. I think we'll go with this one. From the neutral as well, the can have on low, they can just Okay. Third Corvette enters on destruction of second. Blah blah blah. Two in the first. There's a freighter that comes in. What? Destroy Tog to trigger arrival of neutral frigate and Y wings. Okay, we'll try without that. Why does it say spoilers? This must be like... It should say something like... Additional help or... It's not a spoiler. <laughs> it's more like a secret. Like, who would destroy a tug that's just running around? And why would it trigger the assistance? So do I need to destroy the frigate? That's... I'm not sure. B-Wing Red is to attack and destroy this Imperial Corvette base. The base is protected by a minefield and a small number of ties. The entire base and all of its Corvettes must be destroyed. Okay, talking about any frigates. Okay, I need to destroy the Corvettes ASAP. Or this one. So the other one is disabled. This one. Roger. 
Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Space and I'm gonna see exactly what I need to do at the same time. I'm gonna restart this. Container, 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 two Corvettes, that's it. Corvette Orlock, Orlock and Etnam or Orlock Etnam? Ulrak, Etnam, and Cutlass must be. So only two. Okay. Should take care of her. Okay. Just getting back in the game, like slowly but surely. Oh, my speed. Oh, there's the mines. I need to kill the mines. Thank you. 
Well, that Corvette is going. It's just up here, or. I think. And the last one. Wow. Hey, over under. How's it going? I had the TIE Fighter and... Uh, I had the TIE Fight and TIE Fighter versus X-Wing... Okay, yeah, TIE Fighter and TIE Fighter versus X-Wing games. Yeah, I love TIE Fighter. I just want to finish this. This is the second expansion to X-Wing, and then I'm going to move on to TIE Fighter, which is such a better game. It's, this is still a great game, but the missions are quite repetitive, and... Yeah, I've been doing a lot of missions. <laughs> This must be over 100 missions now, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so yeah, I was looking at what I have to destroy here. What is this? Oh, the tug. Okay, this must die, I guess. I don't think it has to die. My two wingmen are dead. Oh, nope. Uh, the briefing didn't talk about gunboats. Yeah. And there's supposed to be a frigate that comes in two minutes after I kill the first or the second corvette, so I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. I want to identify that corvette. More shields. More powers to the shields! That's what I like about this game, the, the energy... ...management. Was it in the list? Oh my god, I'm gonna die! Ah! Oh my god, what the F? There's a rebel. Since when I can't... Bring him in. I wasn't going fast enough? Okay. destroy this Imperial Corvette base. Let's try it again. Doesn't seem too bad compared to others. Should take care of them. Now it's gonna be the mines. Nice shot, target destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, they are shooting torpedoes, uh, so I should have kept targeting torpedoes. Take a little break here. Ah, oh, that Corvette. That's kind of a problem. So that's the third one, I guess. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Let's recharge. Forget. Okay, last one. Okay, what's going on? The forget just came in. Uh, I'm not. I'm not alone. There's a tie fighter there. And this must die. And I have no torpedoes left. More TIE Fighters coming in. Oh, I'm so dead. And he's going. He's gone. So I hope that's not one of the ones I needed to kill. Okay, we'll destroy all these containers. Ah! I have to triple shot this because those laser placement are crap. This 
these containers are pretty dangerous. Oh, I. <laughs> what the? Gunboats? Oh my. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, I'll call for reinforcements. We'll see what it does. And I am eager to see if I kill those two. Oh, and targeting computer damage. Great. I don't need no freaking targeting computers. You are ejected safe. Yes. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> you have ejected safely and you're dead. B-wing red is to attack and destroy this Oh, I wanted to check if I The base is protected by a small number of times. Okay, this one... This one is disabled. shot on this one. Okay, then the ties. Okay, guys, just kill the Corvettes. Roger, using designated target. Roger, well, this using is a disabled target. One. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Okay, I'm gonna destroy the. So that Corvette just appeared, right? Come on, guys. Where's that tug? So where is it? Oh 
because you're dead. Oh my god, missiles. Reinforcement should be coming in, right? I destroyed that tuck. Take a while. So what's the opposition? It's not so bad. Once this guy's dead, it should be okay. Come on, game. died there. Now well, need speed to kill these guys. <sighs> Don't ram me. Is that a missile? What the fuck is going on? We had this. What's going on? Oh, another batch of gunboats. This game. <sighs> Ow. Is the Corvette destroyed at least? But it. They'll keep sending. containers to destroy.
Ah, since I die, I don't see. So I should hyperspace out. You must oh. register. Never really, real I never really realized that. To attack and destroy this Imperial Corvette base. What about this mission? The Phoenix System Patrol Squadron base is to be completely destroyed. All Assassin class Corvettes must be eliminated. Finish off the first. What do we mean to attack the first? While well, you attack the like the next, kill it, then destroy the third. The same matter. Yeah, before the next. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Seems maybe a little easier, but I only have one wing. wing. I thought I had two in the other mission, but no, I only, 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 I always only see one. Let's get this. That's interesting. Oh, they're really far. Oh, oh yeah, that's... Well... Where's the Corvette? Okay, gunboats. Swing just flew past me. just came in. They just came in. So what's... Okay, this one. That's it. So let's just destroy this guy. Too much, so first attack, second double torpedoes on this one. No, I was too fast on it. Shit, whatever. Now, this one. Ridley, 
I'll take it. Attack this one. I'll attack the, them. No, no, you're too close. Stop! Stop running in circle. You, you, you can continue moving. Oh my god, this guy is not dead yet. Please destroy him. There you go. Wow, this mission is way easier. Nice, only, only the mines left. There's not that many. Okay. that much easier than the other mission so much easier and they're destroying the containers good job guys good job and that's how you x-wing Shooting torpedoes at the containers. I think we're done here. Well, I think that's a good job, guys. Wow. First try on that second mission and that like 8B. Fuck 8A. <laughs> Oh, 12? Oh, I thought I was at um, mission 8. I was on mission 11? They're <sighs> under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. Okay. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi 2. Okay. They're under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. Oh, defend. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the Dunbots from their attack. <laughs> A distress call has been received. Ah, despite their best attempt, blah blah blah, and once again, victim of an attack, the system will receive. They are under attack by entire squad of assault gunboats. Four B wings. Oh, okay, four. I thought I was the only one. Yes. Attack gunboat row and tow. And you may wish to use a torps to force them into evasion, but save at least six. Oh my god, when freighter just 6 is disabled, an Imperial freighter comes 
to board and capture, you must stop it. What? When the Imperial Freighter is destroyed, three transport arrive to destroy just six. Do I only need to defend just six? Oh wow, okay. Use the torps in dual fire mode. Three, three transport, so two, two, two. Oh, okay. This is like a hard mission. <laughs> you make it look hard, Mr. Agbar. So what was the first uh, thing to do? Destroy the toe and whoa! Target disabled. Roger. Using designated target. Roger. Using designated target. Roger. Using designated target. Are they attacking my B wings with iron cannons? Oh my god, you're so dumb. Slow enough. Fuck it, I'm changing targets. That guy was pretty. Uh, is that a roll? That's a roll. Cannons. That's a lot of gummits. We are starting to overrun them slowly. Not the same, whatever. You're my new target. You're way too close. Oops. 
Is that bad? That's one of our containers, but... Well, not ours, but the one we defend. been disabled yet. I have Y wings from there from them that are helping me. Uh, I'm supposed to destroy the the frigate if if there is a frigate. Target destroy uh oh shuttle I don't know if I needed to defend or destroy that. That's the big problem with this game. The fact that you're never sure if you fail the mission, um, if a target is a real target, it's just like you're supposed to know all these things. I don't know. You're supposed to guess them, maybe. A freighter as docked, is that bad? I said to prevent some docking things. Uh, okay, what's going on? We have containers. No frigates. I don't know. Shuttle. Again, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I, don't, I think I think it's a bad thing. Oh, these are bad containers. Oh, so maybe that's one of the containers that got destroyed. I don't know. We'll see at the end of the mission if I don't die. when they explode they do lots of debris and they usually explode right into your face like the hull of the ship just goes right in your face
freight or something. Report operation docking complete. Freighter. These are freighters. Is there a freighter there? I don't know what they're talking about, about their operation tonight. You see that like the, the ship like ran in there and exploded in one direction, you can be hit by that thing. <laughs> chance we have of colliding with something else. Oh yes. Way too close! I have to almost break for him to go away. Pretty crazy. Just explode, please. Not on my, not my face. Sometimes you just stand there. Today I was lucky for the number of gunboats that I destroyed. Oh, it was not frigate, it was. Oh, I think it's a bad thing that they ported. It was freighter, it was not frigate. Yeah, now it's gone. So uh, I'm pretty sure we failed. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing's going on now. I think I failed the mission. There's still eight minutes left. That countdown is more like uh, an approximate time. <laughs> like it can, it can come to zero when the the mission may not be even finished yet. But they're they're going away. My friends are going away. No? Okay. I thought they were hyperspacing. Hyperspace. thing that I didn't do is the freighter chest 9 failed the mission that's it a distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy so it's not so bad return to briefing a distress call has been When the Imperial Freighter is destroyed, three transporter right to destroy just six. Oh, 
Oh, I understand. These three must have are that's it. That's all there is to it. Isn't that so complicated to say hey you, before you go? These three need to everything else is just can help to know, but that's the main thing. <laughs> it's the real objective of the mission. Target disabled. Okay, they just disable that guy. Boom. It takes like two seconds. I should order Roger, them to attack. I should have done that Roger, way before. Target, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna hyperspace out and do this again. Shields down. <laughs> uh, that's the closest. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. This is Moo. No, I want that. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using I'll designated target. Him. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Target disabled. Okay. <laughs> So this guy will try to board this guy. That's what's going on. Oh, as soon as the Imperial transport arrives, just destroy it, right? Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Just kill this guy. Okay. Duel. Okay, then as soon as he's gonna die, uh, transports are coming in. Since these guys are only I and I should concentrate on the guy that have lasers. This is dangerous. Die! Map. Oh, now we have four. 
instead of three. What's going on? <sighs> Whatever. Transports. Transports, double, torpedoes. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Well, that's okay. It's right there. The fuck? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, everybody on in here. Using designated target, Roger. Using designated target, Roger. Using designated target. Ah. <sighs> ah, so close. Oh, is my target. Oh, that's not bad. That's super bad, right? He just destroyed it. I think. Oh my god, those three church? Then we're talking about three, not four? Now it's four? <gasps> that's mine! That's my transport! What the fuck? Why do I have a transport? No! <laughs> but my torpedo was missed. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna die. Oh my god, that's bad. What just exploded? Target destroyed. Oh yeah, the transport was destroyed. It destroyed. That's not good. Okay, okay, hyperspace. And I will get it eventually. Transport is there to um, disable him? I don't know. Oh, um. Attack this Roger, one. Using designated target. Roger. Using designated target. Roger. I'm attack using this designated one. target. Uh, no lasers. No shields. Target disabled. Okay, let's put some shields, lasers. I want this double. Freighter, so attack the freighter immediately. to protect this guy whole damage oof not sure I don't think so 
Shit, that's a lot of pounds of holes. And I'm still waiting for the transports. Yeah, one of these. Oh, they're really far. Oh, they're the one attacking. Oh, they no, just attacking him. Oh, new transports. Is that all about the transport? Ah, oh, there's another one right there. My guy? I it's surprising that one of my guys is oh, one of my old torpedoes, maybe. Okay, so we have a bunch of Y wings. This is not the disa disabled one, so the disabled one is destroyed. I failed. Oh my god, but this. His freaking transport arrive. Like in range of their torpedoes, so they shoot their torpedoes immediately. So I'll, I'll take a little break here and come back in a couple of minutes. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. 
They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. 
A distress call has been received from an Avasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. B-Wing Red is all that is available to stop the gunboats from their attack. A distress call has been received from an Havasa convoy near Pi-2. They are under attack by Imperial forces and are requesting help. Okay. So I quickly checked for strategy. There's not much on the web on this game, especially the expansion. Uh, I said to... Concentrate on the gunboats. Yeah, forget about the freighters for now. That uh, Imperial freighter will come close to my disabled one, but who gives a shit? Uh, attack. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated this like this, target. something like that. I'm gonna target attack him. Boom. Boom. Doesn't even mention the transports. I don't know why. Eventually, one of my uh, a neutral freighter will come in, take the disabled one, and uh, escape with it. It also said to disable each of one wave of each of these, which is kind of weird, but I can definitely do that. Maybe it's gonna minimize the number of... Uh, 
I can disable them all if I want to. I need to put it like this. That's it. I think it'll help also for the the management for my lasers. What the fuck? <laughs> he almost killed me, the guy was running right. Oh, he's disabled. Ah, oh, he's still on my targeting. Oh, that's... Oh, that sucks. Shit. Whatever. You won, you're way too far. You. Yeah, I was always targeting him. That's a problem. <laughs> he's coming right at me. Uh, no, sir, he's just standing there. You're coming at him. Okay. I need to see his damage. At least when it disables, it doesn't stop the guy right there, he continues. And if uh, this game obeyed physics law, he would continue indefinitely at the same speed he was going. Oh! So, Tau 1, I haven't disabled one of you. Super dangerous. Oh, there's so much more focus these lasers. Oh, apart from the one at the bottom, which sucks. But it's still. Eh, is it better than this? I don't know. What's going on now? Okay, so I need to kill him before he comes to this, but we have ample time. There's no reason to use torpedoes against him. Um, yeah, let's continue. Disable, roll disable, Tau disable, Mew is not disabled. Let's pick, let's pick one. Let's go with the torpedo, since we're far. Oh my god. Hey, Crazy Kane! Going great! Oh, let's try this. So did you finish an Acronox? <laughs> Not yet. I have no more laser power. No. I need to uh, disable him anyways. I don't know why I need to disable him. Ah. Oh 
shit. Um, I'll check your text in a minute. <laughs> really focus. Oh, I didn't want to kill you. But anyway. Still trying to figure out if I can beat the Necronax. I have to load our null save and get some more powers and better weapon, especially for Stilto. Yeah, it's a shame that I didn't remember, remember they locked you in with those two characters. Only two. That's not... <laughs> that's not much! I think you can. Uh, like... Oh my god, is that the enemy transport? Oh my god, I need to kill the guy, the, the freighter, the evil freighter. Yeah, I'll come back to you with strategies uh, in a second. I just need to kill that. No! Shit, he's in a bad spot. I think I just destroyed my... I destroyed both. Shit. Hyperspace. Yeah, I I definitely don't think you need to um, to like level up or anything. But I did notice when you went into your inventory, it seems like you didn't have any shields at all. And that makes a big difference. Because, like the way you were trapped in the uh, Stilto dies, reheals, dies, ah, I can't do anything because I have to heal myself or the other, or just. Yeah, that's a problem. When you're, you're like that, you're almost fucked, you have to get out of there. But if you don't get in that pattern, you're fine. It is a boss that hits for almost enough to kill you or can't even kill you one shot, so that's, that's normal, but it doesn't take as many shots to kill him, I think. But I would use most of my specials. Um, you never use them when I when I looked at you when you were battling the, the two bosses. A distress call has been received from an Abasa convoy near Pi 2. You just kill the thing you're supposed to protect? No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, but it was my last chance. They were about to dock and I would have failed the mission, so it was kind of, I'm gonna try it out. Oh, I'm, I'm not even sure what my objectives are, so <laughs> that's, that's why I'm eager to finish X-Wing and play some TIE Fighters, because even, like, at least in TIE Fighter you know exactly what you have to do. Have you ever played uh, like any game of the X-Wing series? There's X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, there's X-Wing, TIE Fighter, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, X-Wing Alliance, um, and a bunch of expansion packs. Console scrub. Yeah, like everyone. <laughs> like about 90% of people are mostly focused on consoles. I'm not even exa exaggerating with this. With this statistic that is 100% accurate. Play Anachronox. So if you play Anachronox, you're you're automatically a PC gamer. <laughs> Can 
and go play an obscure game like that. An incredibly great obscure game. That's that's a hidden gem right there in Acronyx, if there ever was one. Not so much. I usually play those hidden gems on my on my channel. Like I tend to focus on games that are really awesome and that most people don't talk about. And that uh, and the occasional classic here and there that I usually never play. So if there's a classic game that I haven't played yet. I have to play it. I have to play all the games, that's my objective. I, I just saw Deus Ex in there, so you're the man. <laughs> Unless you said you hate Deus Ex, get out of my channel. <laughs> So damn right, and I keep forgetting it's made by Iron Storm. Oh yes, it was made by Iron Storm, but it wasn't the same team. So I usually also say that just to so people are like, oh. But to be perfectly honest, um, Iron Iron Storm was was three three separate teams that did not. I don't think so. I, in all the interviews and everything I've read, oh my god. Um, I don't think they crossed, like they helped each other out, maybe a little bit. Um, but it really was three separate teams that works on Deus Ex, Anachronox, and the incredible Daikatana. <laughs> Like three really, not really different games, but eh, kind of. The three, uh, those three games really were, and the whole Iron Storm thing was really to bring games at a more cinematic level. That was their objective, and I think not cinematic, but really like kind of change the face of gaming. Like, more story-based, more interactions, just more stuff. Some random joined my stream one day and said, This game looks like Deus Ex Wannabe. <laughs> Weird, because I would never say that. Uh, it just wants to be a JRPG. It <laughs> doesn't really copies any... And I played a bunch of RPGs, and no, I don't think it tries to copy anything. Okay, I have to really focus because yeah, there's a problem here. If I don't focus on this, you die right now. Okay, now there's supposed to be three tri three freaking transport that comes in. I never said it was right. I yeah, I believe you succeeded, man. Okay, the cinematic camera angles are so unique. Yeah, the whole cinematic of the game. I really love it. Like the all intro scene sold me completely on the game. Like I bought it just because it was like, for a PC game it was rather unique. I was like, man, what the fuck is that? Like it's Final Fantasy kind of seven, like type of combat. Uh, but it's a PC game. Like usually RPG, uh, PC RPGs. Um, well, at the time, it was kind of a bad time for Peach. Peace! I was going so well. Uh, let's get strangled by uh, Darth Vader. Now we will discuss the position of the secret rebel 
yeah, if you didn't see what happened, because it was like, boom, you're dead, uh, I just... I collided with one of my friends, I think, one of my wingmen, wingmen or something. Uh, that's the kind of thing that happens in this game. <laughs> like, if people want to talk about artist game of all time, almost everybody can say that. Usually people, people say TIE Fighter, but <laughs> I mean, these missions right here are... Uh, from what I remember, are way harder. Um, most people haven't played the second expansion pack to uh, X-Wing, or haven't finished it. I'm sure some, of course. I'm not the only one in the world. <laughs> Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Target disabled. But even veterans of this game are like, oh, this is such a hard game. Like it's not more, it's not randomness, there is some, you could say it's randomness, but it's not randomness, it's just chaotic. So like in the chaos, there is randomness that emerges from the chaos. Uh, talking about, um, um, is it, how is it called, like emergent gameplay, I think, where you make your own game, like games like this are prime suspect because you're gonna play the same mission twice, and it's gonna be a whole different experience. Um, let's go. I need to keep my uh, my shields level, and my stuff level high too. Keep my speed down. You don't want to go too fast against these guys because you're gonna overshot them. You want to dogfight. You want to go inside, like under, behind them. I mean, go. Yeah, from what I understand... <laughs> ah! Like, right there I could have died. From what I understand, it's very similar. Oh yeah, so no stronger than the enemy. No, no, no. <laughs> no. This is what it is. In X-Wing Alliance, you, uh, you, you, f you fly in a ship that is kind of like the Millennium Falcon, so it's much better than an X-Wing. It's bigger, but it has more, more shields, more armor, not necessarily more speed, but a lot more firepower. You want to dogfight them like this. It doesn't look like it, but we're doing, we're going fast, uh, pretty fast right now. <laughs> Like if I drop it, I could like start the flight camera, but I can't remember what the what the button is. But if I start recording the the fight afterwards, and they highly recommend to do that in the manual. Like afterwards, you can go and drop the camera anywhere, or just go into any one of the any one of the ships. I think. Uh, in first person or third person view, or you can just drop the camera and you can see like what looks like a s like this looks like a slow fight, well I'm, it's not really going slow <laughs> well this is going slow because these guys are so slow <laughs> like if I would battle TIE fighters I will have to focus on that fairly soon hey RPG Gar! Uh, in a second, I'll be able to. Uh... Well, I'm really happy. This is like one of the first time I try, not try, but I just decided to stream in the daytime. What is my daytime for me? Might not be for you. Uh, I destroyed trackball mice when I played these long time ago. This with the trackball mice? Oh my god. I guess it might work. It must be extremely um, precise. Yeah, I can. I can feel that. I'm not really proficient with that, but, but if I was, I guess it would be. It would be a, a great way to do it. Or both. I, I use a controller, by the way. I will always play this with a, a joystick, an old joy, like the old, like classic joystick, or a controller. I don't know why. I try with the mouse, but it, it just doesn't work. It's weird. 
I love engine recording. Yeah. Used to do it all the time in quick engine games. Yeah, I should do it like right now. It might be like I think it's in the F. Nope. <laughs> I I closed my uh, my folding of the wings. Okay, I have to check the freighter. Okay, freighter, boom, you die. So yeah, I, I decided to stream in the daytime and I'm really happy that uh, people join in and... This is quite a popular stream today at 8 people watching for uh, X-Wing. I do this in the evening and nobody watches. Weird, right? Oh, what am I doing? No, Whatever. Another one. <laughs> and a couple of lasers for good measures. Um, then I'm missing uh, torpedoes for the... It's just going rather well. Oh, not really. It's a good time for me. I am at the end of my work day with no work left to do. I'll be heading off in about 10 minutes. But you're still streaming when I get home, I'll pop back. Kids are very adaptable. We never had a flight stick or anything. I had all gold medals for every mission in TIE Fighter with trackball. Get used to anything as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I never even got used to controllers. I was way more into the mouse thing and first person shooters with a controller. I'm extremely bad at them. Um, like I don't even play them. If I have to use a controller for a first person shooter, I'm just gonna, not going to play the game. That's why I'm not really interested in buying consoles. <laughs> right now I'm really into PC gaming. So I have the choice here to help my friends here, which need help, or these guys. Yeah, let's go with Mew too. Oh, transports! Fastest as I can. But if you're interested, at about the same time, but I never, I don't have a fixed schedule right now for the, and I don't think I will for the daytime. And the official stream is still at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and these, oh my god, I'm so dead. This is it. Game over. And there's no way I can survive. I don't care anymore because it's. I think we're uh, we're dead. We're game over. What? Well, we're game over. Like they come in, shoot four missiles each, I think, and they only need six to destroy it one shot. Like we don't even have to go in into laser stuff, which will, which I think they will. <sighs> I don't get it. Yeah, yeah, and um, so if you watch the evening streams uh, and you don't, if you can't watch the, the daytime stream, uh, the, I won't cross over games, if that makes any sense. Like, oh, maybe these games, I... Like, these are not like games like I don't think that uh, if you miss a mission or anything it's not like you're missing anything uh, I know that people who watch streamers don't necessarily watch the whole thing <laughs> the whole like if I play an RPG from the beginning to end uh, but it's like kind of important for me to give the opportunity that people can't do that uh, if they want to and I don't care I have so many games to play and uh, not bother to play like three games at the same time so at about the same time like not tomorrow but maybe next week or a couple of weeks from now I'll be playing this or maybe uh, Ultima I'll be starting Ultima the old Ultima 
Saga. I've ne never played any Ultima game. Yes. Oh, bad me. <laughs> Especially for an RPG PC gamer like myself. Um, yeah, uh, we Ultima wasn't a thing. Uh, I'm from Canada and French Canadian. Um, I think because they might be extremely text-driven. There were a lot of adventure games. Like I was big into adventure games. King Quest, Space Quest, Police Quest, Laser Suit Larry and Target stuff. Uh, LucasArts uh, stuff also, of course. Monkey Island, uh, Maniac Mansion on the NES. The first time I played Maniac Mansion on the NES. I, I think I'm, I'm done. I know about from which direction they come. Is midnight? Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, so, oh, cra are you from the UK? So you're from the UK, and yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I have to head home. I'll pop if you're still going in about an hour. No, I don't think so. I'll have to go. Uh, go eat in about half an hour I'd say yeah I think th this is a good time like to stream <laughs> because if I stream in the evening like all the Europe is pretty much gone to sleep especially in the weeks yeah like I said I'll be streaming more in the daytime once in a while I it's it's when I will be able to so we'll try this again. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Yeah, I didn't want to do it. Like I could have before. I didn't. Yeah, I I uh, die alive. <laughs> Just start talking to people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't want to do it because, like, I branded myself saying. I stream at night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, every day, and that's I think that's enough. Well, of course, I could stream more, and I had the time for it. It's just that I have a little more time, and I figured, what the hell? I mean, people are doing it. People are just streaming when they can. Like, not everybody has a schedule, so I still have my schedule, and now in the daytime, you can catch me sometimes when I'll have, when you'll have the time. Uh, when I'll have the time to stream, I'll just stream. Yeah, I pretty much always feel like streaming. <laughs> I don't think I would stream every day, all day, like uh, six to eight hours every day. Oh, six to eight hours can be feasible, especially if you like put into three hour chunks or Six hours straight is quite a thing. I admire people that do that. Um, but yeah, I would stream like a lot more, but of course, life. Life gets in the way. Roger, you're back. Using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Roger, using designated target. Yeah, it is taxing. I definitely wouldn't play six hour of this. Even if six hour of this like passes relatively quickly. Oh my god, I'm so in your face right now. I didn't think I was right on them. Let's go with this. Check the chat in a second. I 
I don't mind doing for RPGs because I naturally play these. Yeah, exactly, me too. That's why uh, in the daytime I want to put Ultima in there because I want to try to stream more than two or three hours. I never played it, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to endure it. But it's the kind of game that I I can't put down. Of course, it's gonna be good. It, it didn't become a classic like that, just just like that. Like every time I put I I try a game that I haven't played before. Like on the channel, it hasn't happened much for now. But I'm gonna be playing Mind and Magic three soon. That's another game I haven't played. Like, I, I would tend to, f on the channel right now, I kind of tend to focus on games that I know. It's just easier to stream, like, it's easier to talk to people if you know what you're doing. <laughs> The seventh one. Yeah, yeah, everybody says if you gotta play Ultima. At first, I was like, okay, I'm gonna play Ultima, but I'm gonna play Ultima 7. Well, a couple of years ago, I wanted to just play them, so I did start a game of Ultima 3, I think. And I was kind of overwhelmed. I was, oh my god, this game is complicated. And I was just not in the mood. And I decided, nah. But then a little bit afterwards, when I started streaming, I said, oh, maybe I'll, I'll play Ultima, but just the seventh one, since it's more recent, everybody raves about it, it's supposed to be almost, maybe, I didn't play it, maybe one of the best RPGs of all time, we'll see. I'm a big fan of Fallout and uh, Baldur's Gate because of the fact that you can play these games, like, really how you want it. If you want to kill a guy, just kill a guy. It doesn't really affect the story. It can, but it won't like. And I'm doing a little better, I think. Like it, it won't like soft lock. Was that a soft lock? I'm not really familiar with all these terms. <gasps> Yes, I've played all the fallouts. Oh my god, all of them. It's not your fault, <laughs> it's my fault. I saw him come in and I banked on the left and he banked on the right. And we collided. You must register. This game is really unforgiving, like everything was going fine and you're dead! <laughs> Just like in real life. I don't even know if I'm gonna play the old... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play the old Fallouts, but not right now. It's, they're so popular. Why play Fallout? And the newer ones on stream? I think the only one I would play on stream might be Fallout New Vegas. Um, but it'll be like at least in a year, I think. If I look at my gaming's, sorry, at my gaming schedule. Oh no, I'm not interested at all. I'm not even interested. The only game I have on my radar right now is uh, Cyberpunk, and it's not coming out right now. <laughs> like in recent games, I have nothing I'm interested in. I'm happy about it, because if there was, I, I would play that instead of my ritual gaming uh, fanfare. Yeah, well, it's if it's really good, uh, just so the... 
give me a shout out. I'll be really interested in playing co-op and even streaming co-op. But I don't know. I don't know. I Fallout 4 for me was like a, a real turn off. I was like, okay, fuck off. Fuck fuck Fallout. <laughs> it was really bad. Fuck Fallout. Fallout is not Fallout anymore. It's not it's something else. It's what Bethesda wants Fallout to be. But that's not my Fallout, so whatever. If you want to use the name Fallout, just use the name Fallout. It's okay, I don't care. I'm not gonna be like, They destroyed Fallout! Or they destroyed Star Wars! Or they destroyed... Fuck it, man. If you don't like it, just don't play it or don't watch it. It's... You can be sad that it's dead. You can be sad that it'll never be the same at all and all. But life is life, man. <laughs> not much doesn't move on. Life moves on. There's not much to do about it. At least it still exists. It's fun because because Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 existed, uh, we have people that are interested in Fallout. Fallout could be could have like gone on the wayside. Like before Fallout 3 came, uh, nobody talked about Fallout. Wasn't a thing. At all. Like in most like gaming circles, if you talked about RPG, people would come in and say, Hey, did you play Fallout? People are like, oh. oh yeah, that obscure PC game. Yeah, and th let's not talk about Wastelands. <laughs> and I've played Wasteland, it's an incredible game. And because I played Wasteland, I'm not afraid of playing uh, Ultimate and stuff like that because Wasteland was incredible. Incredible. I never thought it would be that good. You see how different this is? Usually there's much more gunboats in this area, but now they're all there. F4 was bad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cyberpunk isn't even out yet. I'm sure I'm going to be interested in other games before. Like, other games will come out before Cyberpunk, which I'll be like, ah, I need to play that game. But yeah, they didn't wow anybody with Fallout, the new Fallout, like, trailer or anything. It was just, here's a new Fallout. Do you know anything? It's supposedly co-op. Supposedly. What, when does it come out? <laughs> when does it come out? It's pretty crazy that... Like, Bethesda doesn't... They don't trust themselves, I think. It's all their... Nah, if you say don't spoil, I think they, they don't trust themselves. If you look at the bass, they're usually just... They're really shy about showing their stuff. First of all, it's ext extremely buggy. So imagine if you, they would do like a, an alpha a demo... Uh, live demo at E3 or something like that. Like something would go wrong, it's almost it's almost assured. <laughs> and people would be like, rah, rah, rah. even if it's an alpha, like I'm perfectly aware that that is the way it is, but most people aren't. Like I'm super excited to see a game in, in production and and pre-production with, with sketches and stuff and then the designs and the maps and the characters and the story and all coming in together. I'm aware that's not the final product. I can suspend my disbelief, I don't know how to say it, that that is not the game that I will be playing. Even at the at the end when you play it and everything is almost there but they might be missing music, there might be a couple of glitches and bug quirks that might not ruin the experience, but you might be like, eh, it's not that great. But just wait, wait till it's over. I would say the same thing to a, a publisher, like, wait till it's over. Yes, it looks good. Yes, but like fans might destroy it. Watch out for bugs. You don't want to rush a game. There's no reason to. A good game can last you 
10 years of profits if you play your cards right. Like, if you look at games like Skyrim and all. Like, these games are old. And they're still, I think, are still selling? I'm pretty sure they're still selling. They're even doing, like, other versions and, and other stuff. So if your game is good enough, you'll be able to port it. To port it on future consoles. It might live forever, for all you know. <laughs> no, no, it needs to come out on Christmas. I'm gonna scrap it all. Oh my god, I need to do something now. Oh, maybe not. The last time it is the... Hey, he's in the door. Last time Minista did a lot of pre-release footage was Oblivion, and they got called off for Radiant AI debacle. Oh. Yeah, that's it. They always called out. Like, every uh, developer gets called out on that shit. And they shouldn't be. It should be part of... That's the... That problem is the media that covers that shit. But that's the problem everywhere. The media doesn't cover the news the way... Like, they cover it from... Like, how should I say, like, no angle, or they, they don't understand the subject they're covering. So they, they see a thing and they explode it into, like, a problem that it's not, it's not a problem. It's just the, it's just the way the, in the industry is. It's like if you would show an unfinished movie, like, people would know that, oh yeah, that those special effects are not... It'll be better in the... Because, like, movie culture is there since, like, pfft, It's, like, over a hundred years now. But gaming is not... Ever play... Ever since they play their card close to their chest. Yeah, I can't blame them. Everybody does the same. But if a developer were more open on how it works, and when they show their stuff, they would talk about it. I know they do now, but it'll take a while. They should have started way before, and everybody should should say that. Like, every day when they show a pre-alpha footage, bang, 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 this is pre-alpha, it won't be like that, bang, 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 and every dev should do it. <laughs> but they won't. But the more developer will, will be more open about it, and they won't go into closed door like they do, and the more it'll be, like open and the more the more they talk clearly to the media and they transmit their message more clearly to the media and the media needs to understand more about the gaming culture but that will take some time of course it always takes times i mean gaming is just is so new we don't even realize because i say movies that are a hundred years old but they're much more than that when was the first movie Like, imagine, like, music. <laughs> music. That's an old media right there. That's an old, like, art form. Yeah, they don't show unfinished movies to the public. Exactly, they don't. Well, now they kind of do. Uh, if you are, like, usually you have to subscribe to something on YouTube or on web pages and stuff like that. But I know that in most of the Peter Jackson production, you could, you could, follow the production of the movie and was great nobody was like row, row, row. and even when they show like they show unfinished stuff of the new star wars before it comes out to tease people and it's okay nobody craps on them it's so weird it's so weird but yes some developers and just a couple i would say maybe on the top of my head maybe five did some bad things they showed products that that were not representative of the final product. But because of the, these like five people, it it kind of ruined uh, the whole thing. And it made people more, more, much shut down and oh my god, oh my god. But these are... <laughs> and you know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna name <laughs> Nice shot right there. Unpause, kill the guy. Okay, I need to do some things now, right? I have a mission. Okay, it's really going much better than usual. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be an asshole and...
I'm gonna save state did I, if I find how to save state. <laughs> did it save? I don't even know. Well, let's, let's just say it did. <laughs> You're right, especially now, it's worse than ever. I blame uh, social media and uh, media coverage again. Like, because really good, good media coverage will change um, the reflection of that on the social media platforms. Like, if if a, a media coverage is good, um, you'll go into the... Of course, there's going to be haters always. People are, are always going to hate. But it's going to be well, more well-perceived. It has a big, much bigger influence than it should on the population. And I'm the yeah. Now, people don't realize it, but yeah, there are people that I can't even talk about subject if it's not covered like by like the media, mass media, the mass media. I sound like a conspiracy theorist right now, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Okay. Should I focus on the freighter now? Hmm. I think it, it'll be time. God damn. There's still four gunboats. Swaying. <laughs> that's the term. Swaying public uh, opinion is easier than you think. Well, I'm saying that, but I don't know your opinions. Oh, they are attacking the thing! Wow, guys, you're really doing your job. He's dead. Okay, so the transport. I know the transport are coming in that direction. But I don't know what that direction is when I'm in the three, the third per the, the 3D view, the, the cockpit view. Well, they're there these guys? So, where is Mewtwo? Target destroyed. Mewtwo is there, so I think it would be like in like that direction? Oh, it's pretty much the direction of, I think, of Mewtwo. <laughs> Mewtwo. My shields, I have to check my shields. No, I'm not going in the right direction. It's new or mu of. Ah. <laughs> uh. If I destroy all of them, as soon as the transport is going to come in, my wingman should... Oh, I think they're coming in. Yes. Oh my god! Roger. Target, roger, using designated target, roger, using designated target. Target destroyed. Oh, is it? Really? What? What's destroyed?
Yes, yes, yes. Shoot the torpedoes. Yes, shoot the torpedoes. Oh, which one? Oh, fuck it. Destroying them? Oh, the freighter is destroyed. Oh my god, this mission! Wow, the, the window of time that you have is just... Because they come in, if you if you just arrive in the stream, these transports just, as soon as they, um, they hyperspace in, they launch four torpedoes each to uh, the freighter. That is, is dead. I didn't even see them. Like it's, and that was quick this time. I think. Oh my god, my speed is is shit for some reason. Uh, I don't know what happened. Like I'm gonna try reloading my save state if that even works. Uh, oh, oh, that was before destroying that. Okay, let's wait. A little more because if we destroy all these before the transports come in it's even better oh my god oh my speed what eh? did I just reload what What's going on? <laughs> it kind of doesn't work. What? <laughs> okay, I never use save state, especially on DOS box, but... I load it? It's right there? You can see that's... But as soon as I press exit? I come back to where I was. Look, exit, map. Now it's okay. But I use I I used it once I think save states and I it worked. <laughs> God damn it! This game. Let me pause it. Then save state, then load. No. I guess I'll have to. Uh... I'll come out of this. Maybe that's a problem. <laughs> it shouldn't make any difference, but. You know. Which complete the mission? The nine co <gasps> Uh oh. So where am, am I now? Okay, so I'm here, whatever. Uh, but the two others were destroyed? Oh, this is not the right mission. This is another mission, I think. Right. My my save state didn't work. That's why. Maybe. <laughs> it clearly didn't work. What is this mission? Mission twelve. Yeah. Why does nine completed mission? What? I thought night was destroyed. Oh, 
or the save state just fucked up the mission. You know what? I'm gonna you know this. Ah, mission complete. So they will just because they hyperspace out, but sometimes it takes some time. So maybe that okay, okay. So whatever. Mission complete. <laughs> I'm not gonna. No. Mission complete. That's mission success. The Alliance Trader Whatever. Bradley awaits a rendezvous with the cruiser Kathleen. A-Wing Blue 5 is protecting the freighter but has had a shield failure. A-Wing Red will jump immediately to Habasa 2 to relieve A-Wing Blue 5. The cruiser Kathleen should arrive approximately 10 minutes later. Okay. The Alliance freighter Radley awaits a rendezvous with the cruiser Kathleen. The wings continue to be deployed as rapidly as possible. The new fighters are providing, approving themselves well suited to the roles they were designed for. Nevertheless, some witnesses have come to light. They have proven to be especially vulnerable to TIE Interceptor. What? Come bring the TIE Interceptors. This requires that the B wings have adequate escort when attacking. The cruiser Kathleen is the next to receive a B-Wing squadron. The freighter Radley is carrying the new B-Wings that are to be delivered to the cruiser. The Radley is being guarded by A-Wing Blue 5. Blue 5 reported a shield system failure and has requested immediate withdrawal. Red squadron will send a pair of A-Wings to the South Okay. A top ace A wing is very effective against time bombers and tie fighters. Use a missile on any time bombers. Oh, I'm an A wing. Oh yes, I'm an A wing. <laughs> I did that in the briefing. Top speed, top everything. Our freighter coming in. So I have to defend, oh, I already stuff coming in, I have to defend Radley, that's it, right? Yeah, just the Radley thing, okay. I'm gonna go as fast as we can. Any TIE Bomber that gets by me needs to be destroyed by missiles. These are the closest? Okay, let's go. Roger, using designated target. Attack this one. Oh my god, I'm 
back going fast enough. That's the problem. Oh, nice. guys alpha one or well, alpha two now attack alpha one where is he okay wow Getting shot in the ass. Okay, we got this guy, but. Bet on the fact that he won't be. And when the, oh, these guys are coming. Eight to one. There's a bit different degrees of AI in this game, like Ace, Top Ace, Officers, and you really can feel when you're against <laughs> more tough opponents. I think I can't really get hit by- oh my god, what the fuck going on? They really dispersed. Why? Shit. This is not good. We need to kill these guys. 
Ada 2. Ada 2 and 3, so attack this. I'm gonna attack this. Okay, are they continuing their attack? No, these guys. What the fuck are these guys doing? There's something I'm missing right here. Where is he going? Like he's doing. Woo! I never saw something like that in this game. They usually go straight where they they want. They have to go. Far away. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two missiles? No! Oh, I'm so doomed. No! Let's keep the missiles in front of you. Okay, I should be alright. This guy. Ah, I'm in bad shape right now. Shut up. Oh, fuck. There's another one right there. Oh, I have no backup anymore. I'm all alone. Shit. This is too far. I think that's it uh, for today, but uh, thanks everyone for watching and there will be more uh, daytime streaming. Uh, like I said, I'll be continuing this. Um, I wanted to finish the month of October before starting Ultima, but maybe I'll start before. I, I didn't think it would be so popular. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know if um, like even the people that watch me in the evening would watch in the daytime schedules and stuff um, and I'm perfectly aware that most people that watch streams are at their jobs so they make sense um, evening doesn't make sense since everybody wants to be with their families I guess I don't know so um, yeah I might be starting Ultima maybe not tomorrow but next week or this it'll be this or Ultima in the daytime and I don't know when so uh, um, follow me on, on Twitch if you want to have notifications or on the Twitter um, but to, tonight I'll be continuing uh, Soul Reaver 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight and tomorrow uh, 8 p.m. also will be um, I think the last uh, the last session of Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. So that be the end of that game. Wednesday and Thursday I'm gonna start Bloodnet, which looks really interesting. Uh, RPG, it says like uh, Vampire Gothic. It says on the box it says like, S no, 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 it says like uh, 
Cyberpunk Gothic. A Cyberpunk Gothic. Not a Cyberpunk Gothic adventure game or a Cyberpunk uh, Gothic game. No, a Cyberpunk Gothic. <laughs> so we will be uh, raiding someone, of course. I might be raiding someone that I never raided before. Oh, let's do. Yeah, not many people online right now. What is this? Yeah, let's... Oh! Dialad just came in! <laughs> of course! I'm gonna... Oh, it's starting soon! No! I'm gonna rage you anyway. I know it's not good practice. Yeah, Dialad just went live. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but... She's not live live. <clears throat> Stay... I'm sure she's gonna come live uh, pretty soon. Um, She's live, but she hasn't started uh, streaming. She's playing some XCOM. Is that a great game or what? If you don't like XCOM, get out of here! <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome game. I'm not really into st to strategy game, but XCOM is like in my top three or four games of all time, and that's saying a lot. So, see you soon, guys. Uh, like I said, tonight, uh, some Soul Reaver. <laughs>